All right, let's do this raw report here very quickly. The show was, uh, I mean, the opening segment where Biggie came out and there's Randy and Riddle and MVP and Lashley. I mean, the fans had pretty much been promised a championship title change, so they were super into this segment right here because there could be Randy could have won, Lashley could have won. Obviously, Big E was going to cash in, so they all went back and forth, and, and it had it had great heat. And uh, this in the, the main event segment, by far the highlight of the show. We had uh, Charlotte versus Shayna Baszler, 15-minute match. Mm. Not good. They were out of position. They seemed like they forgot spots. It wasn't horrible, but this was not one of those Charlotte matches. This is like a great match. It was... Uh, it was in the bottom half of Charlotte matches. Do you yeah. like what they called it? The championship contenders match? Yeah, that's, that's what, what they've been calling, calling it forever. I know. Just incredibly stupid. Just dumb. So Nia jumped up on the apron. Shayna distracted and pinned. I mean, bad match. Every finish we've ever seen. Not good. Then Alexa shows up. And I've said this before. As long as she's not doing magic, the fans really like Alexa. Yes. And she showed up with a doll, and then she had a gift for Charlotte, which was a, a Charlotte doll, a creepy doll. And they are going to be having a match at the pay-per-view. Uh, Alexa got in a naughty word, which the fans pop for, and no magic. The doll didn't speak. The doll didn't blink. The fans were into it, so whatever. Brian, during the show, let's not forget... At least for people in America, they were doing ads for Child's Play, the series coming to USA. Yes. Charlie, you never know, may come to life. I'm sure this is, a, this is a Chucky tie-in. You know why mm. I know it's a Chucky tie-in? Because when WCW was dying, they did a Chucky tie-in. So, of course, this comes full circle. Will Rex Steiner be called up to the main roster just to uh, but you know relive funny, his father's by the memories? Way? You know what's, what's funny that? about that Chucky segment? What's that? It actually wasn't bad. Rick Steiner was in it. Go back and watch it. Dick. Doll cut a good promo. <laughs> Drew McIntyre and the Viking Raiders versus Jinder, Veer, and old Shankly. Shanky. Two minutes, and Drew pinned old Shanky. Bro, listen to me, everybody. <laughs> I don't want to digress on this report, okay? But I've been watching this place my entire adult life, okay? Vince... Freaks out, and he decides that he wants a bunch of big dudes. It ha It's happened for decades, over and over and over again. And you get a bunch of big dudes. And let me tell you something about big dudes, okay? Not everyone, because there are, there are some really good big dudes. But I don't know if you know this or not, but the best wrestlers are not big dudes. They're little dudes or smaller dudes. True. So we get a bunch of big dudes... He tries to teach him how to wrestle. Lo and behold, they're not very good. Then he goes, oh, ah, and he gets all angry, and then Shankly here just gets pinned in two minutes. <laughs> it's going to happen. Oh, He's going to hire NFL stars and res amateur wrestlers and track stars and athletes, and he's going to try, and none of them are passionate. No, I shouldn't say none of them. Many of them are not passionate about wrestling, but they, they, they're offered a lot of money. They're going to go in there. 90% of them aren't going to make it, but they're going to get a shot, and they're going to be bad, and then he's going to get mad about it. And then ultimately, he's going to go back to wrestlers again somewhere down the road. But anyway, I just watched that. That's all I could think about this. Then we add a bunch of segments backstage. Damian Priest beat Jeff Hardy, and it was weird the match was not bad, but they almost killed each other a bunch of times. Jeff does a crossbody, and his hip goes right into Damian Priest's neck. I thought he killed the guy. Damian is bleeding from the mouth from some errant kick or something like that. They had another... Uh, no, the finish was botched. They they tried the... <laughs> they went five minutes too long. If that match would have ended like five minutes in, it would have been fine. The fact that it went 11, like it just kind of just fell apart as it went on, and they just never really got back on track. It just didn't happen. We had Nikki Ash, or as she was called backstage by Sony Deville, Nikki A-H-S. Nikki American Horror Story. Because maybe she should just be Nikki Ash. And like for the for the sub forty IQ individuals out there, maybe every now and then you can explain it's A S H almost a superhero, but for like everyone else, just call her Ash. Nikki but anyway, Oz. 
<laughs> they screwed up her name because it's stupid. But she faced Tamina, and uh, she hits some move, and Tamina kicks out. They ring the bell anyway, and then the ring announcer says that Tamina won. <laughs> like, brother, God, anything else? Brother man, you're burying the lead here. How did they get to that match, Brian? Well, they had a silly segment backstage yes. where Sonya Deville had to come out and make sure she was always 100% facing the hard cam. It was the most contrived, goofy WWE thing you ever saw. Then we had Rhea versus Natty, and this match was all right. Uh, I don't think there was anything horribly botched in this match. No. But uh, the I was yelled at, it's not a standing cloverleaf because a cloverleaf is standing. It's a hanging Indian deathlock. Got it? Natty looks different. Well, they put a lot of makeup on everybody. Everyone looks different all the time. Look at Rhea in NXT compared to today. Look at Good Charlotte point. in NXT compared to today. Good point. Yeah. AJ, Omos, Mace, and T-Bar versus <laughs> Kofi, Xavier, Ali, and Mansoor. Hey, T-Bar looked different than bro, he did in NXT. I've been asking for this, okay? They you do have. this They do this on AEW. A match where it's just 10 minutes of nuttiness. It's a party on television. It's fun. There's not a bunch of stupidity. Just give me a bunch of fun action. Well, we got it here. And then, of oh, course, they pinned Ali. Well. Omos. They're doing this really fun match, and then the giant just gets in and runs everybody over and pins Ali. Hey, they're getting the guy over. If you're one of those people that are waiting for the Omos World Championship run, you may not be waiting long. I'm not saying, like, next week, but clearly... I'd be stunned if this guy was not champion within the year. And somebody's saying, no, that can't be true. Great Cully. That's yeah. All I'm saying. Of course Omos is going to be the champion. You kidding yeah. me? We had Eva Marie versus Dewdrop. Oh they, they They teased this match a few weeks ago and then just did like a two-minute beatdown and they didn't do the match. So I was like, what was the point of that? Well, the answer is there was no point. They just did the match and it was two minutes and, and Dewdrop won. Congratulations to Viper, Piper, Niven, Lady for getting married. Yeah, Those congratulations. Pictures were out there, so good, good on you, girl. Good I don't know you. what in God's name you do with Eva Marie. Um, I send them both to NXT 2.0. Honest to God, because number one, dewdrops in all of her colors and her outfits, she would fit in perfectly with the new color scheme. And actually, Eva Marie would too. And her being down there as some sort of faction or a member of something would be fine. I have absolutely no idea why she's on that main roster and they don't either other than this is something for people to get you know this is a rib every week for everybody else you know it's funny by the way is they always go we're telling stories mm -hmm. well every night i put my young daughter paisley to bed and i read her some stories maybe tonight i'll tell her the story of eva marie and dewdrop <laughs> well there was a woman that showed up with another woman, and the one woman gave the other woman a name she didn't like. And then, like, three weeks later, they decided they weren't friends anymore. And the lady that didn't like her name all of a sudden thought it was cool. And then they had a conflict, and the one lady beat the other one. All right, let's turn the lights out. How, how are you Emmy winning storytelling here. How are you going to explain the roll-up? What roll-up? The roll-up attempt by Eva Marie. Bro, I don't need to go over the play-by-play -play for this match for my daughter. I guess I it would put her to sleep. Well, there be a pop-up version of this book. <laughs> Bobby Lashley beat Randy Orton 13 minutes. Dude, it's Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton. You're not going to have a bad match. Nope. They had a good match, and uh, there were some good near falls. And then finally, they're outside brawling. Uh, Lashley's been laid out. Orton hits MVP with the RKO. Everybody pops. Orton triumphantly rolls into the ring. It is speared and pinned. Their favorite Dude. finish besides and, distraction. And they set that up by doing an angle for like Instagram or TikTok or something like that with Riddle laying out like because Randy slides out to deliver an RKO to MVP. Riddle lays down next to him. It's hilarious because he's going nuts as MVP is knocked out, laid out. And, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Randy Orton rolls back in the ring, gets speared. That's it. <laughs> so I don't know if Randy loses via stupidity or how exactly you judge that, but it was a way to get out of the match and then, of course, to Biggie. Well, let's get to the point here. So so Lashley goes to beat up the baby faces afterwards, and he gives Orton a slam on the table. But as the table breaks, it hits him in the leg. 
And so he sells his leg, and all of a sudden they call out Big E, and all of a sudden they make Lashley. Here's the one problem with this, everybody. Why did we make Lashley into a sympathetic character? His leg is hurt. He can barely walk. Big E comes out, and Lashley's, like, begging off, but they start the match anyway. And, of course, Big E beats him to win the title. The fans went crazy for Big E winning the title. I'm happy personally for Big E. I hope they give him a long run, but I I, I don't look forward to anything anymore, this company. But it was a great moment, and clearly it'll be Big E versus Lashley in, in some sort of match at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And we'll see what they do. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.